If Mark Zuckerberg thought that Facebook's political problems were over, he might have to think again. The social media company announced that it had finally reached a deal with the US Federal Trade Commission whereby it will pay $5 billion to settle claims that it violated users' privacy when it allowed their data to be passed on to a third-party app without them knowing. This was the so-called Cambridge Analytica scandal. But as part of the same settlement, the company will also have to set up a new committee to monitor privacy controls at the company, which will operate separately from the board. The FTC said this would curtail Mr Zuckerberg's control over the company he founded. The FTC also used the opportunity to call again for a new national data privacy law, something along the lines of the EU's GDPR, perhaps. And later that day, Facebook announced that its entanglement with the FTC was far from over. It is now under an antitrust investigation, the company said, for being too dominant in its own market. So which of these should cause Facebook the most sleepless nights? Well, investors are betting that the new privacy controls are unlikely to make too much difference to the way it goes about its business. Facebook's shares barely moved on the news of the settlement. And from what I'm told, the chances of there being a national data privacy bill, certainly this side of the presidential election next year, are receding fast. Democrats and Republicans can't agree on how tough it should be. Instead, what I would be most concerned about if I was Facebook is the threat that it should be judged more powerful than it should be and be forced to break up much like Microsoft was in the early 2000s. It might take years to get there and possibly even new legislation, but if I was an investor, that's what I would be watching right now.